Have you ever had one of those experiences where you're putting together something? Maybe it's a chair or a bookcase or something from one of those stores that sell all the parts. You put them all together. Well, the first time that we put something like that together, it may be kind of tricky. Even though there are some instructions, sometimes it takes a little while, at least for me, <laughs> at least for me to get it all put together. However, the second or third time I'm doing a similar project, I'm getting the hang of it. I have the basics in place and it goes much better. Well, in the world of IT, design, management, and security, fortunately, there have been a lot of people that have gone before us and made mistakes and learned from those mistakes and put together these frameworks that we can use that makes it easier for you and I to identify those elements that we should be thinking about and doing, as well as processes and procedures for actually carrying out those tasks. And in this nugget, I'd like to chat with you about a few of the frameworks that are out there that we could leverage. Now, each of these frameworks, they don't have to be used completely. We can pick and choose parts and pieces that can help us facilitate a secure IT environment. And in no particular order, the first one I'd like to chat with you about is NIST, N-I-S-T, the National Institute of Standards and Technology. It's from the U.S. Department of Commerce. And as part of the framework, there's five cybersecurity functions that are subdivided into various sub-functions. And the five main categories are identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. Another framework that we could use for information security management is from ISO, which is the International Organization for Standardization. And they're in collaboration with the IEC, that's the International Electrotechnical Commission, and they've got a 27,000 series of documents that are all about information security management that we can use, once again, as a framework to both identify and follow that framework for our information security management. Another framework is COBIT, which is the Control Objectives for Information and Related Technology. At least that's how it started. Some people refer to it as Control Objectives for IT, but either way, it's a framework for the governance and management of IT. And it's got four main domains, plan and organize, acquire and implement, deliver and support, monitor and evaluate. And behind that, there's five core principles, and they are meeting stakeholder needs, covering the enterprise end-to-end, -end, applying a single integrated framework, enabling a holistic approach, and separating governance from management. Another framework is SABSA, that's Sherwood Applied Business Security Architecture, which is another enterprise security architecture framework. And their framework surrounds six basic questions of what, where, when, why, who, and how. And in their matrix, there's six layers, including operational, component, physical, logical, conceptual, and contextual. Another framework that we can use for the designing, planning, implementation, and governance of IT would be the Open Group Architecture Framework, T-O-G-A-F. And that has four primary domains for architectures, including business, applications, data, and technical. And then last but not least, we have ITIL, I-T-I-L. That's the Information Technology Infrastructure Library, and that has five core publications. And they're all focused on aligning IT with the needs of the business. And the five core publications regarding services in IT are regarding strategy, design, transition, operation, and continual service improvement. And behind that, there's dozens of processes which are associated with each of those publications. And there's a good chance when you're working with an organization, there's a good chance they're gonna be following one or more of these frameworks. Or if you and I are consulting for a company and they're not adopting the principles and concepts from one or more of these frameworks, we might wanna get familiar with one or more of them ourselves and introduce them or start to integrate the principles of them as we help an organization become better and better at their IT governance, including security of sensitive data. So in this nugget, we've taken a moment to introduce six different methodologies or frameworks that we can use or leverage in the designing, implementation, and management of secure IT services. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.